In this session, we will learn how to add page resource in Moodle 2. So this is also used to deliver your content to students. In our previous session, we have learned how to add book resource. Book resource has been added when you need to deliver a large number of contents. So page resource is similar to a book resource with only one chapter. If you have only one page content to deliver, you can use page resource. So it is a one chapter book resource. We will see a page resource in my personal Moodle page. So this one, diode. Here you can see a page resource tool which look like a page icon. So, so you see a book icon and also a page icon. So if I click that page resource, it will open like this. It will look like a book resource with a single chapter. Here you can see a content which explains the operation of diode has been posted. So if you have a single page content, it is better to use page resource rather than book resource. So page resource allows you to upload a single page content. Now we will look how to add content in page resource. For that go to your personal web page. The process is very simple. First you have to click add an activity or resource. Then select page. Just above this URL resource just click this page. Then click add. Click add. So first you have to give the name. It is similar to the settings we did in book resource. So first you have to give the chapter name, sorry, the page name. If I am typing this one as diode, if you want to give some description, you can give there. Then contents. You can give a video link or some text. Then click this save and display. So the process is very simple. So that page content appeared there. So in the Moodle course page, it will look like this. So this one, page resource. So this page resource can be used to upload the syllabus or any one page content. It is good to upload the content using this page resource. So this is how the page resource tool to be added in your Moodle course page. Hope you understand how to add the page resource tool and how to add the contents inside the page resource tool. Thank you.